Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw the Dam reacting to the Super Cafe and the reboot goes to created by How It Should Have Ended. I always enjoy the Super Cafe videos they make. It's Batman, Superman, in animated form. Basically in a cafe talking and it's interesting title and the reboot goes to. This might be a reference to Spider-Man or uh, maybe the fact that Batman's getting rebooted. I don't know. But anyways guys, let's jump into Super Cafe and the reboot goes to created by How It Should Have Ended. Let's react. Show. Yeah, I guess Hollywood really hates superhero movies. Well, let's say they should stop starring in them, if it bothers them that much. I mean, who hates superhero movies? We make millions of people happy over and over again. What's wrong yes. with that? I don't understand award shows. It's always, which actress cried the most amazingly? Or, which person transformed their voice the best? And I'm just like, I do that every day. You cry every day? No, change my voice. Oh. What does your normal voice sound like? It doesn't matter what my normal voice sounds like. <laughs> but if I did cry every day, it would still be amazing. Do you know why? Because you're because a bad man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, well, give this guy a trophy. But why all yeah. the hate? What did we ever do to them? We uh, crushed their box office sales. How is that our fault? Beats me. So, is there anything else going on? Nope. Who's That's pretty much everything. Spider-Man. I'm going to be yep. in the universe! Did you hear? I'm going to be in the universe! Everybody is in the universe, you goof. Not this universe! Woohoo! Marvel! Yeah! <laughs> well, he did just finish two-thirds of his last series. Seems like it's time for a reboot. Oh, I hope it's not a reboot. Why? Because I'm so over reboots. You, you just had a reboot. <laughs> I'm gonna reboot with you when we get mad and fight for two hours. Okay. Exactly. I want to reboot. Can I get all padded up and work eyeliner? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Well, see you later. Everybody gets a reboot. Well, that seems weird to me. Too many reboots cannot be a good thing. I mean, where does it end? Do we reboot Indiana Jones? Do we reboot Lord of the Rings? Do we reboot Harry Potter? You hush your face. <laughs> Hollywood is right. You hush your face. Maybe we aren't original anymore. Maybe we do just make the same stories over and over and over. Well, maybe it doesn't matter because we're awesome. And besides, some of us actually do need a reboot. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I was good. That was good. That was good. And the reboot goes to... Fantastic Four, but nobody likes to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that was really good. Um, I love those cafe videos because they took the concept of, I think it was like one of their How It Should Have Ended videos where they just had Superman and Batman talking at a cafe. And then they just decided to continue that. And it's so funny because Spider-Man swung in, I'm going to the universe. And he swings off, Marvel, yeah. And then Aquaman. I like how Aquaman came back as Jason Momoa. That was pretty good. My bad guys. Whoa! Um, I, just, I love those videos. I just love them. They're so funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, they, they they made a couple of points in this video that actually makes sense because you look at it now, I mean, not Hollywood in general, but the award shows generally don't like superhero films because Superman made it perfectly clear. We... Or maybe Batman did. One of them, I can't remember because it was, you know, I was trying to keep up and actually listen, uh, was that we crushed box offices. And they do. Like, literally, Man of Steel earned $600 million. The the Christopher Nolan trilogy, uh, I don't know how much uh, Batman Begins made, but The Dark Knight made over a billion. The Dark Knight Rises made over a billion. The Avengers made over a billion. Even The Amazing Spider-Man 2 that wasn't really received well by fans still made over $700 million uh, worldwide. I mean, it's just like, you know, it is what it is. And I do have to agree, you know, these award shows that are pushing superhero fi films to the side saying we're not going to include you guys, they should open their eyes and see the big picture. Superhero films are dominating the box office. And eventually it's going to get to a point where it's not just superhero films, but it's fantasy films in general. Because superheroes are a fantasy type thing. You're going to see Star Wars make a comeback with spinoffs and the regular trilogy continuing on with the main plot of the whole, you know, from four, five, and six, seven, eight, nine, 
and spinoffs, and eventually we're going to get, you know, more probably more Star Trek films, and we're going to get a bunch of stuff towards points. Like, fantasy films dominate everything. You know, we're getting Jurassic Park uh, later this year. I mean, it's, it's considered a fantasy because they created dinosaurs, but it is what it is, you know? But it was a funny thing, but it also, you know, had some actual thoughts of, in, in it, not just making jokes, but actually gave some pretty interesting thoughts about how, you know, they're pushing superhero films to the side, but it was a funny, funny clip. I'm glad they do the superhero cafe. Let me read this real quick. It says, after Hollywood jabs at superhero repetition, Bruce and Clark discuss reboots. Well, that is true. Yeah. So this was a good video. How it should have ended. Should They should do these videos like more often because they don't do them that, that much anymore. I mean, they should really keep making these superhero cafe videos because they're really funny in my personal opinion but what you guys think of this really funny video let me know in the comment section below i personally enjoyed it let me know thank you guys for watching peace